Jesus Christ has all authority on earth, under the earth, in heaven, and he is king of kings and lord of lords, and he totally and completely defeated the enemy. And he is a defeated foe. And we don't have to fight, and we don't have to fast, and we don't have to make any effort to overcome him. He is beaten already. Is that plain? That is the gospel. And if you don't believe that, don't call yourself a Christian. Because you're not. You're a devil worshipper. Is that plain? And if you go to a church where they've got a deliverance ministry, the only thing you need deliverance from is the church. I cannot believe that people can deny the gospel and live in old covenant, chasing demons and devils, telling you there's spirits over cities. It is a load of hogwash. 2,000 years ago, my Jesus went to Calvary's tree. He bled and died, the Lamb of God, slain before the foundation of the world. He rose the third day. He ascended into heaven. He poured out the Holy Spirit. I want to tell you what happened. Every devil, every demon was defeated. And the third of the hosts of heaven that fell, the angels, are reserved in chains. That's what the Bible teaches. And we have a good God. And it's positive good news. The gospel is good news. You know, Christianity is a life lived. It's what we do. It's what we are. And what you are is what you do. You can't divorce. So many people divorcing. Oh, you know, you love the sinner. You just hate the sin. No, 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 no. You got it wrong. The person that does it, is it. You know, hell is a real place that a lot of people are going to. There's all this kind of, uh, oh, you know, well, it's all right. It does, it does matter. The only way you're righteous is that Christ lives in you. And it's his life. And when you start telling that in America, they get shocked. They believe for forgiveness of sins and think if they confess their sins, it's okay, they're going to heaven. No! You must be born again. If you're going to enter the kingdom of God, you have to be born of water and the spirit. You have to have new life. You have to be totally transformed. And it's Christ in you. And I want to tell you, Christ in you cannot live the way they live. And I don't care what their names are, and I don't care the color of their skin. When they get up and they con people out of their money, they are not Christians. Period. Is that plain? Yes. That is not Christ. And the whole thing, and this all, every time, all they preach is financial breakthrough, financial breakthrough, financial breakthrough. And people go there because they want to get rich. We don't come to church to get rich. We come to church to hear the word of God, to clean up our lives and live the way God intends us to live. That's it. I see so many people. Love of money is the root of all evil. If the man in the pulpit loves money, what hope has the church got? Uh, and, you know, I just get angry when I see them. Bunch of crooks. I love what my dear friend, uh, Fa Father Frank, in Luxembourg said. Uh, he's a Catholic priest, full of the Holy Ghost. Tremendous miracles in his church. I went to pray there and preach for him. Uh, and... You know, it was lovely to see cripples running up and down a Catholic aisle. Said to me, uh, when I walked in there first time, he said, I, I hope you won't be offended at the statues around here. I said, no, they'll get offended with me. I won't be offended with them. <laughs> uh, who cares? Uh, and 
the whole thing is Father Frank said to me we, we were sitting down having tea uh, just before the meeting and there was some beautiful miracle a woman crippled in a car crash totally crippled uh, and um, God healed her she was sitting at the front God healed her and she was running up and down and dear old father Frank just cried he said for five six years I think the woman had been totally crippled after the car accident and he knew what had happened to her. you know they kind of put um, metal in her backbone to keep it together she could bend over she could jump she could run uh, what did God do with the metal I don't know I don't know much about anything uh, what I do know is God heals amen and uh, dear old father Frank he said to me tell me Bishop he said um, why is it that we had the Reformation and Martin Luther throughout the people who were selling trinkets who were selling uh, indulgences and selling fetishes and he said and now when I turn on the television the American television they are doing what Martin Luther forbade and they meant to be Protestants he said the charismatics are doing worse than the Pope did when Martin Luther rebelled against him good question <laughs> from a Catholic asking me why the Charismatics and the Pentecostals are worse than the Pope was. And I had to tell him that they weren't Christians that were doing it. They were frauds. And that's it. Some people need challenging life is about living uh, and I the, today you know tomorrow morning I want to talk specifically about the fact that communication has broken down society's lost the ability to communicate uh, people don't hear what's said they hear what they think they heard was said and, and communication and the art of communicating husband and wives don't communicate uh, they, they've lost the art of communication a and you get mixed messages all the time people have lost the inner they've got an in inability a and the reason our society is so fragmented and families are fragmented is the art of communication has been lost and people don't hear what's said when you think about it most people only have one mouth and two ears. Do you notice that? If you look at the person next to you, they should have one mouth and two ears. That's because you should spend twice as long listening as you do talking. Unfortunately, people don't seem to have got hold of it. Uh, and um, a lot of people just don't listen anymore instead of listening to learn they argue to defend their entrenched position if you're wrong you need to learn if, if something's wrong you need to be put right correction is a good thing 